Well, breaking news out of Jacksonville, a mass shooting leaving two people dead. The shooter then taking his own life. Here's what we know so far. The shooter has been identified as 24 year old David Katz. He's from Baltimore. He killed himself after killing two others and injuring at least nine people. This all happened during a video game tournament at the Jacksonville Landing, which is an outdoor complex. It's got several restaurants and shops. Audio of the shooting was recorded as well during a live stream of this tournament. And we have to warn you that it may be very difficult to listen to. Let's get right to Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos. He is live tonight in Jacksonville with our top story. Roy. Leanne and Andrew, all is quiet here in downtown Jacksonville, but you can still see the sheriff's office out here as the crime scene tape uh, is blocking off the landing. It's inside there where investigators tell us that the gunman opened fire, shooting and killing two people, shooting nine others before turning the gun on himself. He's out. Terror in Jacksonville, Florida, as shots rang out at a Madden gaming tournament sponsored by EA Sports. In this live stream video, two contestants are three hours into tournament play when the sound of gunfire erupts. Oh, what are you shooting with? Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams said just after 1.30 in the afternoon, they received reports of shots fired, and within minutes, officers arrived at the landing marking place. We watched as crime scene tape blocked off the scene, but it is inside the Chicago Pizza where the sheriff said 24-year-old David Katz of Baltimore, who was a contestant in the tournament, started shooting. We know that the suspect used at least one handgun to commit this act. Federal agents with the FBI combing the home of Katz late Sunday, searching for clues as to what prompted the alleged gunman to open fire. Local 10 obtained this picture tweeted out by the Buffalo Bills last year that shows Katz holding up a championship jersey after winning the Madden tournament in 2017. While police still don't know what prompted the gunman to open fire, witnesses we spoke with believe a tournament elimination may have played a role. My friend that came out of there, he was saying like it was over a Madden game. Dude had lost. It was a, he, they was gaming. All the gamers they came from all over, you know, the world to come game, and he lost over a Madden game. Got mad, went into his car, and just came back and shot everybody. Local and federal investigators said two people were shot and killed, and at least nine others injured by gunfire taken to area hospitals. So we had six victims come in from this shooting. About and five of them are stable. One is in serious condition. They were mostly shot in the torso and chest. There were a few people who were hit in the extremities. Two more also hurt while trying to run to safety. We just seen the gun, uh, like a, I guess he had a laser on the gun and he shot true. And, um, and uh, everybody just started running and I took down and um, I went towards the restroom. The sheriff said the shooter then turned the gun on himself. We have no outstanding suspects at this time, no outstanding suspects. Uh, we have one suspect in this case, he is deceased. And we do know that Governor Rick Scott has arrived here to Jacksonville. In fact, I just spoke with a father who told me his son was shot in the thumb. He is now being treated for those injuries. But he did tell me that Governor Rick Scott did stop by his hospital room to check on his well-being. We do expect him to come out here at some point. Let's go ahead and take a listen to what he had to say about this tragedy. So this, is a, uh, this is a horrible day. Um, you know, I started the day having the opportunity to be with um, five of my grandsons. And um, I love my family, and I know everybody loves their family. And so, unfortunately, at the end of the day, we have to grieve for individuals that senselessly lost their lives. Um, and these, um, you know, these things need to stop. And it's pretty traumatic. Uh, it's horrible for anybody that one lost their, you know, lost their friend or for their families. But on top of that, the people that were shot or just being there, you know, it's 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 changed. And as we come back out live, you can see that the landing is still taped off. We know that there were several witnesses here in this case. We are told that they are now being questioned by investigators at the Performing Arts Center. We do expect them to be uh, released at some point, and we will then speak to them. But right now, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is asking anyone that may have video, that may have information to contact them or federal investigators. And Roy, uh, we do know that earlier today when officials gave their news conference, they did say that they found the suspect's vehicle. Do we know if investigators found any evidence inside? 
We know that uh, that vehicle has been impounded by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office right now. Uh, we do not know if they have searched that vehicle. They are now working to find out if that suspect was staying here in this area, and they are asking anyone that may have information to uh, where that suspect may have been staying to contact them. Roy, thank you. Keep us posted. He'll be back tomorrow starting uh, 4.30 a.m.